CVC Going Generalist. They say that in five, seven years' time, the College of Development Communication will no longer have four departments. Instead, there will be a generalist structure. Generalist meaning everybody has to learn how to write, how to take pictures, how to broadcast, and how to communicate science. But in our cafe world held in DEVCOM 152, a lot of questions were raised regarding this revitalized structure. And here are some of them. First, they say that DEVCOM is too media-centric. Well, if we come to think of it, we have to broadcast by radio, EDCOM majors have to come up with presentations and video productions, joint majors have to write news and other publications, and PSYCOM make use of a lot of medium to communicate science. Could it really be that DEVCOM is media-centric? The second reason they say is that we have overlapping subjects. Most of the students in the Cafe World Forum said that we really have overlapping subjects in DEVCOM and there are some subjects that we can do without. It is a waste of time to repeat the lessons that we had before. Truly, our time will be better utilized if these subjects were replaced with better and more development oriented subjects. And third, they say that DEVCOM students barely immerse themselves in the community and expose themselves to people who are really in need of our help. The generalist structure will expose the students to more immersion time, more exposure to the community, thus better development communicate. A lot of questions have been raised regarding the generalist structure. One of it is that this generalization really solved the problem of overlapping subjects. And second, there's this fear of becoming jack of all trades and master of none. Will we be able to master anything if there will be a generalist structure? Or will we just have shallow understanding of things? And one of the students said that it is too ideal to master everything. And one student said that we have to make sure that the subjects that will be integrated in the gender structure will be better. Because almost all of us think that a lot of our subjects do not meet the expectations of the students. Meaning, we're not very happy with some of our major subjects. But despite all these questions, in my group, all of us think that the general structure is going to be beneficial for the College of Development Communication. Why? Because we think that in a general structure, the students will really get a grasp of what development is. There will be a consensus how the teachers will explain what development and how it could be attained. The problem with having four major courses in four different departments is that sometimes the teachers vary in their explanations, thus confusion to the students. Second, is that we think that the general structure is the true nature of development communication. As communicators, we really have to learn everything. We have to know how to write, how to how to handle a camera, how to broadcast via radio or TV, and how to communicate science and popularize scientific concepts. We cannot choose what we want. We can only be master of all of these to be effective development communicators. Being true to the nature of DEFCOM, we really have to espouse all of these measures and even include more expertise and skills. Most importantly, we think that in the professional world or outside DEFCOM after we graduate, 
We are expected to do everything. We are expected to know everything. We cannot say to our employers that, no, I can only write. Or we cannot say to our employers that, no, I can just take pictures. They expect us to know everything. And the journalist structure, we think, will be very beneficial to us after we graduate. So these were the discussions during our cafe world. We hope that this video will encourage more insights, more opinions. Thus, unity for our beloved College of Development Communication.